you can't go wrong with Now It's Dark. Hey everybody, welcome to Now It's Dark. I'm Jim. We're going to do a little side-by-side -side comparison of tarot decks bought on Timu and the official licensed, like, official version. Um, I, I do buy a lot of things from Timu. I don't do a lot of tarot cards from Timu, but I have bought some because the price of decks that are official, that come with the guidebooks and they're the regular full size, can be a little pricey. So this video is just informative in the sense of just seeing a comparison side by side, what you can expect from the Timu versus the official brand. And, um, you know, I don't care either way which you decide to buy. That's totally your, per, per, uh, you know, whatever your choice. And uh, I've obviously bought some Timu non licensed um, tarot cards. So I'm certainly not judging anyone. And uh, we shouldn't be doing that anyway, as I said. To each their own. Who the fuck cares? None of anybody's business. But, so just at first glance, I did choose the Horror Tarot um, just because it's it's just a really cool set. And it's, it's easy to see the differences. So obviously the quality of the box itself that it comes in is a big first um, call out the reflective nature of the font compared to the very flat and here is the difference between the backs and you know significant size difference i mean th that goes without saying so the difference for me uh when i'm really looking at a tarot deck that I ex actually plan on using is the guidebook. I find a lot of value in the guidebook itself being physical in my hand, and it gives great narration to each of the different cards. Um, and, you know, sometimes there's like little notations from the artist, and I like that. Now, with the Timu or any off-brand site that you buy these from, Macari or anywhere, eBay even. So a, a major part of the reduction in the price is because there is no guidebook. Woo, shoot. These are very uh, slippery. So there's no guidebook. Your guidebook is the barcode, the QR code. You scan that, and if if it'll work, first of all, you'll you'll be able to do like a PDF of the guidebook. So for me to do that would be difficult. I wouldn't want to print a, a 78 page or more guidebook because um, it just doesn't make a lot of sense. So for me, the big major difference is the guidebook. Second is, look at that fun inside of that box. It's the quality of the cards. It's the size of the cards and the qualities. Now, there's a really good representation. I mean, they look virtually the same, right? But you can see these are like glossy. And these are the matte finish because that's the way the artist wanted it to look. Um, if I can find two of the same card, I can probably demonstrate the differences better. This deck in particular has foil letters that glow, whereas this one, this this card does not. I'm not really sure if the depth the depth width of the cards are going to translate, but just the quality is pretty significantly different. And again, I'm not trying to necessarily um, 
sway anyone either way. So let's let's take a look at these two cards. It's pretty pretty comparable. This is the high priestess. So I guess you really have to decide for yourself what you want to do. Now, in the long run, I suppose, when you don't buy the officially licensed cards, you're potentially taking away sales from that person who worked hard on creating a deck. And a lot of times these artists and creators take several years to complete a deck of 78 cards, a lot of hard work. Um, I suppose it would be the same theory as watching a movie or television show on a bootleg website. The theory is, is that you're potentially taking away income from that creator's work. Um, I don't always feel that's the case because if you can't afford the official movie ticket or tarot card deck in this case, you're not going to purchase it and they're not getting that sale anyways. But if you have a $29.99 deck versus a $4.99 deck, you know, ultimately that artist's work is still being enjoyed on some level. And I think most artists really, you know, would, would like to know that their artwork is being enjoyed in some capacity. I don't know. Maybe I'm just rationalizing. Let me know in the comments down below your thoughts on bootleg versus official licensed. What are your feelings on this? Um, are you okay with it? Are you, you know, very much anti uh, bootleg in any capacity? I'd love to hear thoughts down in the comments below. Let's be respectful and not judge each other for our choices, but let's have a healthy discussion in the comments. And uh, yeah, that's going to do it. Let me know if you'd like to see more comparisons. Um, I don't really anticipate buying a lot of tarot decks unless they're like novelty ones just to do some random flip throughs. This deck I, I won't personally use. I don't like this size card. I don't like not having the guidebook. So if I buy these uh, off-brand tarot decks, it's, t it's completely just for the sake of the novelty of them. But yeah. Thanks for tuning in. Keep checking back to the channel for more great stuff. Pro 18, 20.